how much was Ninja paid to stream Apex Legends? I mean, I know he was paid, uh, and he said today's stream is a sponsored stream when he came on that day, the very first day. Uh, it was just for that day that it was sponsored, but apparently EA paid him one million US dollars to stream Apex Legends. These days, it's not uncommon to see big companies promote their games by cutting deals with top YouTubers and streamers, but how much does one of those deals cost? Well, in the case of chameleon haired Twitch King Tyler Ninja Blevins, the number could be as high as one million dollars, although it hasn't been confirmed. Citing an anonymous source, Reuters published a report today saying publisher EA paid Ninja $1 million to play Apex Legends and tweet about it the day after the game launched on February 4th. Ninja has over 13 million followers on Twitch, not to mention some 20-odd million on YouTube, meaning that anything he streams or posts via video will get an astronomical amount of exposure. That said, even by Ninja standards, $1 million is a significant chunk of change. In December, he told CNN he makes about 500000 per month and a lot more in a, quote, good month. Although Kotaku was not able to independently confirm the veracity of Reuters' report, two people who have worked with Ninja said he was paid 600000 for one event last year. These people who requested anonymity because they were not authorized to speak about the deal asked that we not name the event. When asked for comment, Ninja did not reply, and while EA declined to go into specifics, then EA rep did tell Kotaku that the company had a multi-part marketing program for Apex Legends that included paid engagements with some content creators at the launch of the game as we looked to quickly introduce the game to the world. And what a brilliant idea, I think. I mean, what else better way to market your game? Apex Legends, just seriously, great great job, Respawn Entertainment. Not EA. EA probably, well, they might have had some help into it, but... What a brilliant way to market a game. No marketing at all. No pre-hype. No sitting here at EA. Um, or not EA. Um, oh, what's that stupid? I can't think about it now. You're probably thinking about it right now right off the top of your head and yelling at me and screaming at the screen. I don't. I forgot. Um, I forgot. Whatever that gaming convention is. Um, that apparently Sony and PlayStation and maybe one other company are pulling out of this year. Um <sighs> Guys, I'm sorry. My brain shot. I had a whole day of work. Uh, this is what I do for part-time, um, just for fun on the side. But what was I trying to say? Oh, yes. The point being that, uh, you know, usually game and studios and, and, and publishers would go hype games up year after year at launches and different events throughout the year and trying to get a lot of hype and, and interest around it. And then when they drop it, boom, they have all these people buying it. Respawn Entertainment and partnership with EA games and uh, apex legends in particular went hey what if we go and hit all the tops of uh you know streamers and youtubers and have them get paid a good chunk of money for the entire day to play this game and enjoy it promote it whatever and then uh we'll watch what happens boom top of the charts brilliant marketing scheme i'd love to see more of that more often just because i'm a business and a marketing guy i love learning about that kind of information but anyways um However, they said that the paid streams were short-lived after midday on February 5th, the day after release. All Apex Legends streaming from content creators was completely organic. The rep also pointed to a disclosure policy streamers like Ninja were required to adhere to, which was um, well, the mandatory for every country, language, or influencer that we work with. We do not partner with influencers, agencies, or talent who do not support proper disclosure. Now, it does not go into how often streamers are required to disclose sponsored content or exactly proper disclosure methods or how prominent placement of said disclosure needs to be. This can lead to confusion given that streams often last for many hours. Case in point, on Apex Legends launch day and the day following, apparently uh, streams from both Ninja and fellow Battle Royale Kingpin Michael Shroud Grizek both had stream graphics that indicated they were part of an Apex Legends partner program, but during the time I watched them, neither outlined the exact specifics of what this program entailed. Although, do you really need to know? All you need to know is that <laughs> it was an ad deal that went very, very well. Do you see how popular Apex Legends is? Thank you very much.